Hello everyone, this is my first video in a new series that I'm titling CNFT Guide, where I show you how to get started in your CNFT journey. And if you're an experienced collector, you now have a resource to where you can send your friends who are just getting started in CNFTs. And just a heads up, all the things that I'm gonna be talking about, all the links and websites are gonna be in the description of this video. So you can just go down there, click on the links to make sure that you're going to the official websites for all of these products. So to start off, we're gonna be talking about the different kinds of wallets that are out there right now. And the most popular ones are wallets like Nami, CC Vault, Daedalus, and Uroi. So the first two, Nami and CC Vault are both really popular because they are light wallets. They don't require a lot of computing power. You just add an extension to your web browser and you can send and receive transactions by NFTs and it's all pretty simple and smooth. And CC Vault even has a mobile app where you can send transactions. And Uroi is another one of these kinds of wallets. They have a mobile app as well as a browser extension. There is another wallet called Daedalus and this is really good for mints. So if you're trying to send a transaction quickly, it is a full node, full copy of the blockchain on your computer. But however, with this full node, it does take a lot more computing power. So if you have something less than 16 gigs of RAM, it could really slow down your computer. But Daedalus is a strong choice for a lot of people. For me personally, I am a user of the Daedalus wallet as well as Nami wallet. So this is just a brief introduction on those four different types of wallets. Do some more research on those, but that'll at least get you started. So once you've decided which of the wallets you want to use, we're now gonna get into the steps of a wallet creation. And these are very important steps, and I'll give some examples later in this video, but wallet creation is really simple and it consists of three different steps. The first step is you're going to get a 15 or 24 word passphrase that's gonna get you into your wallet. And then the next stage is to create a spending password. And the last stage is basically naming your wallet. So let me give you some examples of what this looks like on two of my favorite wallets. So the first is the Nami wallet, and this is a browser extension. The link again will be in the description and you can add this extension to whatever browser you use. And then once Nami has been added to your browser, you can then add a new wallet, accept the terms of use and hit continue. And then it's going to show you your 24 word seed phrase. Once again, never share this seed phrase with anybody. Write it down on a piece of paper, store it securely. Then it's gonna ask you to verify your seed phrase. Then you add your wallet name and a spending password. So now that you've set up your NAMI wallet, you'll now see a send and receive tab, which is where you'll send and receive your funds. Whatever crypto exchange you've used, you will copy and paste this address into your exchange of choice, whether it was Binance or Coinbase, all, any of the other popular ones. And this is where you'll get your funds received to you from an exchange. If you want to send ADA somewhere, either for a mint or to somebody else, you can copy and paste the address here, type in the amount of ADA you want to send or any of the CNFTs you own, and then you'll put in your spending password to send. You can also view your CNFTs once you've bought and sold some CNFTs. You can see your collection here under this game controller icon, and you can also see your history of transactions on this page. So for Daedalus, you will hit create new wallet. You'll enter a wallet name and a spending password. So then they give you a warning to make sure that you keep your recovery phrase safe. Write down your recovery phrase on a piece of paper. Do not share this with anyone. Begin to enter your phrase that you wrote down and then your wallet will start to sync with the blockchain. This could take hours or even days to fully sync, but trust me, it will be worth it when you're trying to mint something and you wanna be first. So similarly to the Nami wallet, you have a send tab on Daedalus and a receive tab. This is where you can pull an address, copy it, and that's what you would paste into your exchange so that you would receive funds to this specific address. Make sure that you're checking every letter and number so that it's correct when you, when you withdraw it from an exchange. So there you go, guys. That's how you set up a Cardano wallet. This is just the beginning of you getting started with Cardano and CNFTs. And then the next step of this video will be here on the screen. Excited to see you guys there. Have a good one.